Hi folks and welcome back to Fishing with Den. So in this video we're going to be talking about knots, um, specifically basic knots that uh, most experienced anglers have been using for years but which of course anyone who's a newcomer to fishing may or may not know. This was actually prompted the other day when I saw a young lad trying to tie a hook on and it was the sort of granny knot that we all probably tied when we were about six or seven years old and uh, it, it really wasn't going to hold. So I showed him how to tie a proper knot and he went on to catch a few fish. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to have a series which will be um, probably only four or five videos on just the basic knots that everyone needs to know to get the, the best out of their fishing. And this first one is going to be what we call the tucked half blood knot. Some people refer to it as a blood knot, uh, but it is actually only half of a blood knot and it's tucked for security. Now, that'll all become clear in a minute. It's actually a very simple knot to tie. And the only thing you have to bear in mind is that the amount of turns that you put onto this knot is really dependent on the thickness of the line. Now, I go uh, coarse fishing and match fishing, so most of my lines are in the sort of six to eight pound sort of breaking strain uh, bracket. So I use four turns on mine. Uh, some people recommend five or six, uh, but then I always tuck mine. And so that sort of gives me the added benefit. Either way, it's up to you. Um, I've never found any problems at all with the, uh, the four turn uh, knot. And so I think probably the best thing now is let's just show you how it's done. The tucked half blood knot is equally as good to be used on either a swivel or a hook. On this occasion, I'm going to use a swivel. I'm using eight pound breaking strain line and I'm gonna pass the tag end through the ring, the eye of the, the swivel. Put your finger in and then just twist around one, two, three, four times, and then take the end of the tag end and pass it through the loop that you've just taken your finger out of. You've also, as you'll see here, created another loop. And so we're going to actually put the tag end back through that and then gently pull tight on the knot till it gets to about there and do it slowly. And then we just wet it. Now, most people use their mouths, but uh, it's entirely up to you how you achieve that. And the reason you wet it is so that you don't burn the line and create a problem with the, the knot. If you do burn the line, start again, because if you've done that, you've weakened it. So now pull tight and just make sure that these coils are dressed down properly. Just use your nails like that. Pull on both ends. Check on the swivel, pull hard, no movement whatsoever. And so now all you need to do is just trim off the tag end. And that's it. And don't forget folks, you can always hit the subscribe button and click the notifications bell to get lots more videos from my channel.